What's up, Ecosystem? Welcome back to ATI Auto Business. My name is Jay. You know, my goal every Tuesday night is to bring you another trade show level business presentation to you wherever you are because your automotive business deserves the latest in logistics news. And if you're busy, and I know you are, in a minute, I'm going to give the welcome show lineup. If you're watching on demand, you're going to know what to expect. And you can use the clickable video time code links below in the video description to skip ahead. Feel free to do that. Tell your friends. Leave a comment. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching ATI. Are cameras on your truck an added expense or a protection on your investment? When you ask drivers and owners after an accident what they think about Nexar dash cams, the answer is clear. Save on insurance, save on claims, save yourself the hassle. Get Nexar dash cam software solutions. Featuring Dean Becker and Daniel Marte, business development directors at Nexar, plus we have Lloyd Vanover, owner-operator at River City Services joining us later, and Ty Thompson is in the building. So please join the live chat, ask your questions, share your thoughts, grow your business, break out of your vertical. Because it's Tuesday Nights Live on ATI Auto Business. I'm your host. My name is Jay. Welcome back to the show. What is going on, Ecosystem? Thank you so much for taking the time to join us again on another Tuesday Nights Live. My name is Jay. I'm your host. For the next couple hours, I'll be your cruise director. And I please, uh, what I want you to do is go ahead and settle in. And tonight, we're talking about Nexar dash cams and fleet software solutions. This is going to be a very informative show. So let me first start off by saying, please do feel welcome. Please feel welcome, and please do say hello in the live chat. Oh, as we learned last week, if you put an email address in the live chat, it won't show up. So maybe just type it out like, you know, Carlos at ACB at. Uh, do that for me. You know, websites and phone numbers, and what are you looking for? Are you selling something? Are you buying something? Are you trading? Are you looking for customers? What are you looking for? Share it in the live chat. We do a lot of industry networking and free advertising in the live chat tonight. Leave a super chat. Leave a like. And we're going to go into industry news at the quarter hour, so we've got to get there quickly. We have uh, various news. i got a lot of videos to roll. Actually, tonight's show, so many videos to roll, uh, it's going to be hard to keep up with, so we're going to need to keep moving. we got Ty coming in. At the 50-minute uh, mark, I know it's going to come around faster than we thought. And Ty's going to help me introduce. Now, Ty, we've got Dean Becker and Daniel Marte of Nexar Dash Camps and Fleet Software Solutions with us tonight. So uh, please do help me. Wish them a warm welcome and a learning experience. And then we're going to bring in Lloyd. Now, Lloyd, uh, Lucky Lloyd, had a incident he was live on the show, and it was about a month or two ago, and Lloyd had a accident. Uh, but it wasn't Lloyd's fault. But, you know, what happened? Well, Lloyd's going to join us and talk about it, and what would have happened if he'd had a camera? Uh, you know, something to think about. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. 
So that's going to be interesting. So we're going to get to that. we got live chat coming up. So do me a favor, stick around. Right after this, we're going to go into the live chat, and I want to talk to you. Everybody wants to be part of a bigger story. Auto transport is a vital part of that story. Vehicle reconditioning starts when your transport arrives at the dealership. The story starts with you. For our auto retail customers, as yours, full satisfaction. Ship Your Car Now presents Integrated Automotive Transportation Solutions. When your car buying customers are on your dealership website shopping for vehicles, they can easily find an instant shipping quote. By entering simple information, first name, last name, email, and phone number, delivery zip, delivery state, and clicking the button, get your shipping quote. Choose from express shipping, enclosed transport, and proceed to checkout. Review the order summary, enter the delivery street address and city, and click next. Simply enter your credit card information just like any other online shopping cart. And when you are ready, click review your shipping order. Check your shipping order one more time and choose proceed to checkout. Your delivery is all set. If you want to ship your car now, go to Ship Your Car Now. Ship Your Car Now provides a full suite of vehicle shipping services for all types of businesses. That's why Ship Your Car Now offers trusted carriers good paying loads that pay fast. Visit ShipYourCarNow.com. Links in the live chat, email, phone number, website. Let's do this. Let's go into that live chat. Well, thank you very much. Well, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to go to the top. Thank you so much for jumping in and saying hello. Kimberly got in here first. Welcome to Tuesday Nights Live. We're glad you could join the chat, the chat and be a part of the community. Thank you so much. Please do be a part of the chat and part of the community. ATI is a community. It's a media resource. It's a networking location and more. Make it your home. Uh, do with it what you will. This is yours. So thank you so much for being a part of it. Uh, Lloyd is here. This is Lloyd with River City Services. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much, Lloyd, for saying hello and taking the time to be on the show tonight. Uh, Ty is in here. This is where he gets his dash cam intel. You know, it's interesting, um, as I was telling Ty earlier, that, yeah, there was a lot of interest in tonight's show. Um, we can't always predict it. Uh, some shows that I thought would be, you know, okay, you know, Really got a lot of interest. Now, I, 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 I thought this would be a great show, and I think it is going to be a great show, but it seems like a lot of people want to know more about, you know, maybe maybe we're at that point where companies that we're waiting are like, yeah, I got to get cameras. I just need to do this thing. So it's awesome. So you're, we're glad you're here. Carlos, ACB Logistics in the house. What's going on, Carlos? Thanks for tuning in and saying hello. Carlos is always with us, and we love that. Um, Roberto Hernandez, what's going on? Yeah, Black Widow Imaging, always on the move. Shout out to Black Widow. Huh? Who's raising the roof? Roberto, man, that's awesome. Um, let's see here. Oh, Mark Grodeke is here. Hey, what's going on, Mark? Looking forward to another great show. Show 276, that's right. Thank you, Mark. You can cross 276 off the calendar. Well, in a couple hours. Let's see here. What else we got? Um, um, oh, Ron is here. What's up, Ron? NYZ traffic in the house. <laughs> Chris Chamberlain is here. Um, Chris says, spent half hour with Ray Julia from Freightliner here in New Jersey. Got a lot of great truck info. Awesome. Okay, so Chris and we were talking to uh, Randy and Joe at Midwestern. We are going to put together an equipment show. I think that'll be on a Cars on the Move on a Friday at noon in February or March. So keep working on that. And listen, if you want to be a part of the equipment show, let us know. You know, I don't know. Share your info and let us know what you want to talk about. So uh, again, this is man. This is for everybody. This is all of us, right? Because we need a place. Uh, 
I see the Facebook groups. I like there are things I like about the Facebook groups, but um, I don't think it goes far enough to feel like an active community. And so that's why I like the video format. And so, yeah. The, the live chat is the living video Facebook group, and it's yours. Okay, Chris, Ty, Ron, Chris, Ty, Ron, and then Carlos, and then Chris, and then Ty, and then Ron, and then Carlos, and then Roberto. Thank you guys so much. All right, cool. So, yeah, I really don't need to, uh, I don't need to milk it. <laughs> Although it would seem that way. Um, hey, Gary is here. Gary, Gartha Logistics. And John Copper is here. Thank you guys so much. You just, you guys just, what's that dance where you climb under the, under the, I don't know. It's been a long time um, since I did whatever that dance is where you got to get in under the pole. You guys just slid in. In the last second into the live chat. So thanks for doing that. The live chat's going to stay open. Please do bring your questions, your thoughts. What is the name of that thing where you dance under the pole? The limbo? Is it the limbo? No. The limbo? Why does that sound wrong? Dennis Burgess is here. What's up, Dennis? Is it the limbo? All right, what's the one where you follow people and you put your hands on their shoulders and you make a caboose train? I don't know. All right, everybody's dancing. It's a community. All right, cool. All right, so so while you're pondering those things, um, stick around because right after this, we're going to go into industry news. It's going to be a hoot. Be right back. Transport Auto Quoter is by far the leading auto quoting software on the market and the only auto quoter with a pro version that comes preset with accurate pricing for anywhere in the U.S. So you don't have to worry about it. The best part is that no change with your current software is needed. Just plug TAQ in and start booking jobs. Carriers can easily plug TAQ into their current websites and start making money right away. I bet you're wondering how we do this instantly and accurately 24-7. Well, constant analytics is the key. Our price watch team is constantly monitoring current market conditions, paying close attention to seasonal and quick-moving industry changes. At the end of the day, it takes a lot of time and data to maintain good pricing, time that most of us just don't have on a daily basis. So free yourself up. Using TAQ Pro is really a no-brainer. Save time and money, maximizing your leads and optimizing your online investments. You'll finally be able to sleep well at night knowing that TAQ is on the job selling for you 24-7. Never missing a potential job. Are you searching for that midnight auto shipping quote and new lead software you can trust? Provide instant, accurate quotes online with Transport Auto Quoter and move cars fast with Pro ABD CRM. Visit superflowsystems.com. Links in the live chat. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's go into industry news. It's Tuesday Night's Live. It's show 276. It is Nexar dash cams and fleet software. That's what we're going to do tonight. You know, what happened was um, I got contacted by Dean and Daniel, and I started to learn more about the benefits and the high tech of these cameras, um, and as well as, as they tie into a fleet dashboard. Oh, there's hey, there's Dean in the live chat. Hey, what's up, Terry Brown? Thanks for saying hello. Mike Jack, one, two. And when you put it together, uh, you know, the it, what's amazing is the ability to grab a clip whenever you need it. You've got forward-facing, driver-facing camera, and I know. We'll get into that. Listen, believe me. I wouldn't want to have, like, J-facing camera in my face all day either. I get that. But when you add the other benefits, and if you just, you know, just get used to it and just relax, 
Oh, uh, man. It's amazing as it ties into the fleet software solutions, what this really will do for your business. I think it's probably a game changer. We're going to talk about that tonight. And, you know, we love to talk about the front of the store and the back of the store, where the two meet. Uh, because if you spend too much time in the back of the store in the transport parking lot, you don't know what's happening in the front of the store and vice versa. We encourage everybody start walking around the store, even the outside and the inside. It's an auto transport industry ecosystem. It's a large ecosystem. And so each show we try to connect a few of the verticals of the full ecosystem tonight. I'm looking at carriers, services, and equipment with the cameras and the solutions. There's really a lot to it. And it serves the rest of the uh, ecosystem well, and we're going to see that too. We're going to see some crazy videos. Don't forget, now, on the second half of Industry News, uh, Industry News Part 2, when we come back from the break, is we're looking at, this is, you know, if you're in business development, well, we're going to save you time. You don't have to go scouring for all the articles that pertain to vehicle logistics. We do that here for you on ATI. But before we get to all that, we're going to talk about some of the transportation dumpster fire stuff. You know, it's not pretty, and you got to drag it out in the sunlight. Um, because we have to stop saying it is what it is. We can say that, but is it what it is, or can it be changed? Because we are following the disconnect between sales and operations, and you're going to see that from us. We're going to follow through on this. This is, this might be the biggest problem in transportation. And by the way, if you're that carrier, if you're still sitting, if you told the broker you were picking up yesterday morning, and you're still sitting there, come on, man. Come on, man. That's what we're talking about. All right. All right, let's keep moving. Um, auto Logistics Unfiltered. What are carrier issues and concerns? That was the show last Tuesday night. That was a great show. If you want to learn more about what it's like to be behind the wheel, that was a great show. Thanks so much, everybody. And thank you, Rapid Recon, for featuring uh, Ty and I and sharing it on social media. We were on Your Place, which I believe is on Auto Success Online. This is a Rapid Recon production and we're so glad to be on there thank you so much rapid recon for making us your guest all right uh so let's talk a little bit about numbers accidents caused by semi-truck drivers by the numbers each year around 4600 fatal accidents involving semi-truck drivers occur how many are on camera That'd be a good stat. About 182,000 people suffered injuries and crashes with large trucks and buses annually. And you might know where this is headed. Because accidents involving semi-trucks often cause substantial injury due to the much larger size of a big truck. A fully loaded semi can weigh 80,000 pounds. That can mean a lot of force hitting a driver, especially when the accident involves a small passenger vehicle. And that means that if you want to sue, boy howdy, you may have just won the lottery. Now, how about this? So, did you know, and thank you Renee Lowe at Hardings Brooks for this post on social media. In fact, uh, not to be outdone, Renee's going to be on ATI on Friday on Cars on the Move. So definitely, uh, that's going to be a great show. Thank you, Renee. All right, so here's a statistic or two. The average jury claims award in 2012 was $2.6 million. The average jury claims award in 2019 was $17.5 million. The number of commercial auto insurance claims involving attorneys increased by more than 20% between 2015 and 2019, a trend expected to continue. Got it? Hey, what's up, Mark? Thank you so much, buddy. Yeah, we're going to need that super chat with all these claims and jury awards going around. Thank you so much, Pro ABD and TAQ. Great strat to your 2023 business for software. Because we asked the question, do you see on, uh, I asked it on LinkedIn. I think it was earlier today. Wow, long day. Uh, are you using the best software? Well, if you're not, or you're not sure, you want to talk to Mark at Superflow System. The link's 
Superflow systems, the links are in the live chat. Mark is in the live chat. Ask him, do I have the right software? What should I be using? Okay, a fleet offered $5,000 reward for a stolen auto hauler. Everfleet LLC offered $5,000. Now, this is back in August in 2020. This is just one example. Leading to the arrest and conviction of the people captured on surveillance video. How much easier do you think it was because they had video of the culprits? What would it have been like without any video surveillance footage? Interesting question. Oh, here's another one. Okay, here, speaking of video. Tesla shipping error could cost Edmund Woman thousands. Here's a video for you. I want you to soak this in and think about... I'm glad... Here, here's the theme of the video. I'm glad I'm not that guy. Here we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you see... <laughs> See what can happen from one really wrong transport? You don't want to be that guy. I'm surprised they didn't go interview the carrier. Hi, we heard that you delivered uh, an Oklahoma City woman's car to Chicago. Hi, what, what are you eating? You know, <laughs> it's crazy. It's terrible. It's car shipping. Um, let's go to, oh, right. here we go. Now, this is an interesting video. Um, let me do this. Before I roll that video... I think I wanted to... Oh, okay, I got the roll of video. Oh, okay, and then I got that. All right, here we go. Roll the video. All right, let's not waste any time. But but one thing... Here's what, here's what I want you to think about. In this video... So is this the only way to get the footage? Very interesting. Watch this. We're going to run this twice. This is fascinating. All right. Uh... What? Slowly. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're done? Yeah, a couple inches. Ooh, is it bounces you? Fuck. <laughs> a little bit. Let's go. Oh, we're good. By the way, the guy in the walkie, first he says, it's going to be mad close. Check this out. Alright. Uh. It's going to be mad close. What? So I think that's the driver. It's going to be mad close. Just remember, and then the guy, the guy. I think what? So he's sitting in a car, behind, on the upper deck behind that car on his walkie, with a camera. It's a really interesting operation. So, yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, a couple inches. Ooh, is it bounces you. Fuck. And that'd be my favorite part of the video. Yeah, a couple inches. <laughs> oh man some of these videos are so amazing you know that's why i say uh well you know we went and you'll still see man if you if you look closely you'll still see some like corporate social media talking about home delivery and all this like well you know uh i'll tell you what here's the news uh last year we went from Super duper specific home delivery to a uh, dude. I'll take any delivery. Okay. Uh, as long as you're in the right city, I'll take it. Okay. You could be coughing, sneezing and wheezing. Um, yeah, I rolled the second video, so we'll skip that. Okay. So send in your comments, ATI it's auto transport, Intel at gmail.com. Yeah. I was thinking that too, Ron. I mean, like maybe you can name the bridge. Well, it wouldn't be easy, but, um, if you looked at the video long enough, dang, I hit the wrong button again. All right, so please send an email, and this is how you get your car shipping news. You want to put it up on the big screen. You know that what I'm talking about is here. Get, get ready, because it's up on the big screen. That's why I say every Tuesday night I get five new questions. That's right. Are you a car shipping guru? Five new questions powered by ATI and Superflow Systems. It's Play Ask Larry. And these are questions that are relevant to tonight's show, to the topic. Let's just get started. Here we go. Question one. You ready? Each year, around blank fatal accidents involving semi-truck drivers occur. Oh, I think we saw this earlier. Each year, around blank fatal accidents involving semi-truck drivers occur. Now... I'm not saying you want it on camera, but I'm almost positive you want that on camera. 
Just in case it was the four-wheeler's fault. Ooh, look at that. Ty has a guess. Anybody else? I know we can keep moving because we got plenty of video. We still have plenty of video left. All right, here we go. That is the answer. Well done, Ty. It is 4,600 fatal accidents involving semi-truck drivers occur. Let's do the math on that. What's 4,600 divided by 365? That's 12 a day. That's one every two hours. Whoa. Freaky. Question two. What is the appropriate carrier pay to ship a running 2022 Volvo XC90 on an open carrier from Morgantown, North Carolina to Miami, Florida? 280, 460, 650, or 890? Okay, this is today's market, open carrier, 2022 Volvo XC90, North Carolina, oh, to Miami. It's not very far. I don't think it's going to pay well. Uh, okay, 890? I don't know where Morgantown is. See, normally, North Carolina to Florida, if you could get 500 to Tampa or Jacksonville, you were, you know... You were in the in the neighborhood. 650. It's a Volvo. These are great points. I don't think 890. And I hate to say. I hate man. I'm a pet. So you guys know this. You see this every Tuesday night. My pessimism comes out. I'm gonna go 460. Gary's got 650. Gary is good to lean on when you're not sure. 890, but I'm sure it's going to be 460. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, that word appropriate. Yeah, that word appropriate. And Larry, thank you so much. This is really important stuff to talk about because this is where shipper meets carrier meets broker meets dispatcher meets reality. Okay. Oh. Uh, come on, man. Okay, is it 460? I hope not. All right, cut that. Here we go. Oh, it's 650. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, you know. It'll pay for an oil change, but you know, it's better than 460. So that's pretty cool. And well done. See, I said and Gary got it. Man, Gary knows his stuff. Don't question Gary. Don't do it. Question 3. <laughs> What is the number one cause of trucking accidents? Is it driver error, ELDs, bad weather, or bad cargo? I'm, I'm thinking bad cargo. Gary? <laughs> Come on, man. Um, I bet it's them ELDs, man. Huh? Shoot. Or, or or microwave burritos. Okay. Microwave burritos is not... Show me microwave burritos! Alright. Ty's got driver error. Anybody else? Going once. Ooh, that's two for driver error. Anybody else? Ooh, that's three for driver error. Yes, sir. It is bad cargo driver error. <laughs> oh shoot here we go question four what is the appropriate carrier pay to ship a running 2017 honda civic on an open carrier from longview texas to yorktown virginia 400 557 20 or 990 okay it is running it's a honda civic it's used open carrier longview to virginia hmm Long view to Yorktown. I don't know where Yorktown is. I'm thinking beach. Um, I'm going to go with 990. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> well, this is why you have the driver facing camera. As right, it is. It's interesting. Yeah. Um, 400. Yeah, that nine. I agree. It's 990. And it's not, uh, 
I don't think that's on a rope. I don't know what you're going to put with it. So, it's got to be nine. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, I heard Yorktown, and I'm thinking, uh, you know, colonies. Like, you know. What is that? 250 years ago? All right, so let's see. Anyway, okay, so, all right. Carlos has 990. Anybody else? Anybody else got a guess? Um, 990 going once. 990 going twice. Oh, ho, ho. that's 720. Ouch. Yikes. Well, what does the appropriate care pay for a very dusty tree growing through it? Nobody picking it up. Honda Civic. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question five. About blank. People suffer injuries and crashes with large trucks and buses annually. How many? About. Is it 82,133,000, 182,000, or 233,000 annually? Oh my gosh, what is this number a day? Holy cow. Now I know that, I know the 365, oh my god, that's 500 a day? Okay, it's injuries, but still, 500 a day? Sheesh. Going once. Yeah, there we go. You believe it? 500 a day. I don't know, man. I don't know if we need one of them camera deals. I mean, you know, 500 a day? Shoot. Wow. All right, well, listen, man. Get yourself some ELD punch because we got driver error coming up. Stick around for industry news part two. We'll be right back. McAllister's has been around for over 76 years and we're known as providing our customers with high level white glove concierge style services. We provide our customers solutions in both transportation, logistics, and warehousing. We take a very different approach than most auto logistics companies. Our approach is one of being consultative and adaptive to the auto industry. Our approach saves time and money while providing tangible data, which helps improve processes. McAllister's offers a unique tech solution, which we call our Auto Vista Portal. It's a cloud-based solution. It provides the ability for our dealership partners to access it using any device they want whenever they need. Most auto logistics company just want to deliver your car. We want to do more than that. All of those measurements that are important to you to run your business and understand where your costs are, McAllister's Auto Vista technology supports that. It's a car shipping performance data management tool. That's why car dealers love the Auto Vista portal by McAllister's Transportation Group. Find out what you're missing. Visit McAllister's.com. Links in the live chat, email, phone number, website. All right, here we go. It is now time for industry news, uh, part two. Attention, business developers. This is your weekly pulse. It's about 7.30 on a Tuesday night, Central Time on ATI. So here we go. Uh, pulled out of Auto Remarketing Magazine, Cox Automotive further integrates V-Auto and Ready Logistics what does that look like? We've heard of Ready Logistics and V Auto, if you haven't heard of. I mean, Cox Automotive has a full suite of software, right? Um, and so V Auto helps dealers with their vehicle acquisition, vehicle values, inventory, etc. And um, so, according to a news release from Cox Automotive, this will enable. Uh, Stockwave clients, which is another software from Cox Automotive, to see shipping costs and delivery times for vehicles at Ma Mannheim more easily so they can take these critical factors into account and make more confident decisions about which vehicles to buy. With the power of Ready Logistics data, Stockwave gives dealers even more information at their fingertips to simplify the acquisition process and help them make informed purchase decisions. 
With the new integration, Cox Automotive indicated dealers can see a real-time estimate of transportation costs and delivery times for vehicles at Mannheim right from their stock wave glance as well as get a detailed snapshot of what their transport details would be. The company pointed out the delivery window is especially important for dealers who are purchasing from a Mannheim location they never bought from before as they can now instantly get an estimate of how long it will take for the car to arrive without having to invest time on the phone. Cox Automotive said this new information can help dealers more precisely understand a vehicle's acquisition cost so they can align their business plans with their transportation needs. And to point out, as a full as a provider of full-service transportation logistics solutions, Ready Logistics tries to simplify the supply chain for dealers and make it easy to move vehicles from point A to point B. Clients who ship with Ready Logistics can benefit from a fully vetted carrier network, advanced technology that provides transparency and analytics on vehicles in transit. Now, I want to say this as I recap and read that. Is anybody wondering if that is the case, why does it seem primitive sometimes when you're booking loads on ready logistics? Think of it from the dispatcher or the carrier. Does this match your experience? Because this sounds really easy to use. Like really awesome and easy and integratable. Is that your experience as the dispatcher or carrier with Ready Logistics? I could be wrong. I could be way out of line. Put it in the live chat. I'd really like to know. And if you're watching on demand, put it in the comments. I'm just asking the question. Nobody else is really going to do that. All right. Also on auto remarketing, CDK Global incorporates Ford and Lincoln build data into advanced vehicle lookup API. You know, I talked about cdk global in the auto transport 22 um now they i think they went through corporate restructuring so i'm not exactly sure who owns cdk global right now but i do know that they're integrating with oems and i mean their technology is here to stay they got a lot of technology i'd say cdk global is second to cox automotive as far as massive auto industry technology integration so you want to know the name CDK Global recently announced a collaboration with Ford to integrate vehicle build data for Ford and Lincoln vehicles with CDK Global's Neuron Advanced Vehicle Lookup Application Programming Interface API. Manufacturer build data includes VIN-specific data, such as vehicle descriptions, additional features, and MSRP value to expedite valuation workflows and optimize marketing efforts. To lay a foundation of trust and transparency for enhanced sales or service experience for customers at multiple touch points, follow with me, financing, vehicle listings, and insurance. Nowhere was transportation mentioned. Do you smell the opportunity? CDK Global. Microsoft investing in autonomous trucking startup Gaddock. Sources say Microsoft plans to invest more than $10 million in the autonomous startup. That would make sense. You know, no matter what you think. Microsoft plans to invest over $10 million in a financing round that values Gaddock at more than $700 million. As part of the deal, Gaddock will use Microsoft's cloud and edge computing platform, Azure, in developing autonomous delivery technology for trucks. And by the way, just a reminder, in November, Ford and VW shut down their self-driving technology, Argo, saying that robo-taxis, self-driving, would be harder than putting a man on the moon. So what are they doing with all those Argo-wrapped vehicles? I want to know. New car wait times will carry on through 2023, says Mitsubishi. First, it was semiconductors, then it was shipping problems. Now, tightening safety protocols are affecting deliveries of new cars. I told you, it's not about super duper home delivery. It's any, I will take anything you can do. Anything. We just want the driver to just wake the guy up in the morning. Too much? Yeah. Tell me I'm wrong once you find out the story I'm talking about. Electric car major, what a BYD? This is a Chinese automaker ordering its own transport vessels. You know, I love international news from time to time. BYD is ordering six massive car carriers, vessels that can transport thousands of vehicles at a time. They're an automaker in China buying massive auto transport ocean vessels. Think about that. 
for a second. That's sinking. Because OEMs in the U.S. are talking about getting into uh, selling direct to consumer. So they won't need ocean vessels, but what will they need? What will uh, what what will auto U what will U.S. automakers need to sell and deliver ooh deliver vehicles directly to consumers? Okay, stop the music. It's not funny. Oh, speaking of not funny, why Carmax, Carvana, and Vroom are sitting out the 2023 Super Bowl? Remember the last couple years? Lots of lots of ads. Carmax, Carvana, Vroom. You know the spinning and the and the guy with the electrodes and the and the busy mom and oversharing mom and all this stuff. Well, uh, you're not going to see any of that this year on the Super Bowl. But you know, set your VCR. Maybe you'll maybe you will see a used vehicle retail giant, uh, but not Carmax, Carvana, or Vroom. Fox, the networks that carries the game broadcast, says 30 second ads are about seven million dollars, and nobody but nobody in. Uh, nationwide online car sales has an extra seven million laying around. Okay, all right. And this was the big news, man. This was all over the place on uh, many places. Montway Auto Transport joins forces with Auction Direct Transport as dealer demand for auction transportation services continues to grow. All right, so there I set up Montway Auto Transport and Auction Direct Transport. Uh, now, ADT, founded in 2018, family-owned business in Mesa, Arizona, and they have a dealer carrier network of over 11,000 carriers. Now, you can't see the bottom of that, but trust me. Um, so that's it's interesting. So what did you buy? We're going to find out. And thanks for playing. What did you buy? <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm, listen, dealerships are merging like crazy. So we're going to see more of this stuff in auto transport. And this was really big news on uh, larger publications in automotive. So we'll see what happens next. It'll be interesting. If you see this, this is this is the podcast. Mike, check. See, now the, the audio's got to go crazy. Um, this If you see this, you are dealing with an ATI podcast. Listen to it. Don't argue with it. Uh, it's ATI Auto Business. Thank you so much for that. And if you got a question, we, we highly encourage you. What's the phone number? 417-483-2764. You can call or text Ty. He's in the live chat. He answers the phone. I've been there. I've stood next to Ty when his phone rings. He answers it right away. He just answers it. He doesn't even screen it. It's crazy. He's got to be the only guy I know that doesn't try to figure out what phone number on earth that is before he answers. Just you just playing old answers. That's Ty. He's here to help become an ATI insider. And don't forget, we are in the ABC dealer app. That's Auction V Commerce dealer app. You can get the app and see more ATI auto business. Download it from the App Store. It's also available on Google Play. Uh, be sure to check us out. We're gonna be we're gonna be live tomorrow with Brian Riker on live carrier advice. That's pretty cool. We're down. We're about one a month on these shows. He's very busy, and so am I. Uh, but we do like this show. And in fact, when we meet once a month, there's more information than we can handle. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna be doing that probably once a month, Wednesdays at noon. Thermonuclear Thursdays are never to be missed. You don't want to miss it. Uh, the last one <laughs> with some good stuff. I even shared it on LinkedIn. So be sure to join in and tune in. If you've got news, if you've got something to share, send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. I'll go ahead and send. I'll put this link. Send in the news. Uh, and here, let me see and leave this one too. While you're at it, you got if you see one of those pesky likes laying around, I know you got one somewhere. Go ahead and leave it. Slap it on the screen for us. We really do appreciate it. We sure do appreciate that. Thank you very much. And of course, on Fridays, we connect dealers, auctions, and carriers on Cars on the Move. That's Fridays at noon Central Time. This Friday, we've got Renee Lowe and Darcy Case. Now, Darcy is with a recovery company, I believe in Indiana. Renee is with Hardings Brooks Insurance Agency. And we are uh, we're going to cover some interesting information. So, managing risk. 
with Renee and Darcy. Going to join us on Friday. And, oh, here's the email. You got an insurance question? Copy that down. Renee Lowe, rlowe at hardingbrooks.com and Mike Peplinski, mpeplinski at hardingbrooks.com. Harding Brooks. You know, I've been saying it wrong, too. I've been saying Hardings Brooks, but it's Harding Brooks. What is the name of the insurance company in Indiana that wants to help you and is going to be live on Friday on Cars on the Move on ATI at noon? Harding Brooks. That's right. Harding Brooks Insurance Agency. See, actually, it was almost a benefit that I was mispronounced it because then look at look at all the airtime. Uh, NADA show is coming up. It's in 22-ish hours. I know that's changed, but it's January 26th. In 16 days, NADA show begins. Ty will be live on Friday and Saturday with coverage. And so, leading up, you know, I love the energy format. We've got NADA show energy 2023. That's coming up next Tuesday night. Man, we got some great guests lined up. Um, we've got Pamela Patton from ACV. We got Angela Rizzo from VinQ. We've got Atul and Peter from Orby. Uh, oh, and Travis Wise at Dealers Link. Man, it's going to be awesome. So if you want to learn more about what's happening at NADA and what that looks like, please join us next Tuesday night. It's the Car Should Be Business Channel. My name is Jay. All right, cool. So we got through Industry News Part 2. Shoo. Uh, <laughs> a little, uh, uh, let's see. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Dean Daniel. Uh, take about another five-minute break or so. Get ready. Get your cameras and audio ready. I'm going to bring in Ty first. Ty, you're right after the break. And then we're going to introduce Dean and Daniel. So here comes video one of three. I got three Nexar videos. That's right. Step right up. Three Next Nexar videos coming your way. Here's video number one. We'll be right back. I had an accident where somebody tried to pass me on the right and they plowed into the front of my truck. That particular driver hit my truck and he ran. He kept going. Hi, I'm David Fisher. I'm a truck driver and I live in the great state of Paducah, Kentucky. Thank goodness I had that Nexar dash cam. It automatically records everything directly to your cell phone. And I was able to immediately send the video my safety director and was able to get the truck number of the, you know, the truck that hit me and was able to get the name of the company off the side of the truck. If I didn't have the Nexar dash cam, we'd have never caught this guy. I would have had to pay the $1,000 deductible to get my truck fixed. I researched quite a few many different types of dash cams and the, the Nexar dash cam is the only one that I found that you have instant access to your videos. You get free storage and you get the constant safety and security of knowing that if somebody hits you while you're driving, that Nexar dash cam is gonna catch you. All right, cool, thank you so much. So this is the Nexar dash cam and Fleet Software Solutions show on ATI. So here we go, let's bring in Ty. He's had no prep, but he will answer the phone. His name is Ty Thompson, he's in the building. Ty, can you see me and hear me okay? Okay, no, we can't hear you. Not yet. Oh, audio? Oh, there we go, there we there go. There we go, I'm yeah, back, it, it should be yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> so I, I just, I. I just let let the cat out of the bag. You have not mm. cur you have not met Dean or Daniel, right? No, no. Exactly. I'm excited though. Look how I excited I am! I can't wait because Dude. what happened yesterday? I know that was amazing. <laughs> how, what? What the what? All right, you tell it. What, what happened what? yesterday, Ty? Okay, well, you guys know Joe Joe Bercari Midwestern. You know Randy Randy in the live chat always talking about mechanic and wrench. So anyway, we had Joe on last Tuesday night, and we wanted to. I really wanted, I like hanging out with those guys. But anyway, I wanted to have lunch with them, so we went and had lunch yesterday. There was several reasons for the lunch, but the, the primary was is Chris uh, Chamberlain in the live chat, several Carlos. We had Carlos's truck pictured. And then Carlos was in the live chat talking about his fuel mileage, and they were talking about gear ratios. So 
anyway, after the show, next day, I get several phone calls. Man, I love you guys talking about equipment. So <clears throat> I wanted to get with Randy, Randy Wills, Midwestern Car Carriers, Kansas City, Missouri, uh, and Joe, and ask if we could do an equipment show in Randy's shop. Because Randy loves the shop. And Randy's got a super cool shop. So as we're there getting that taken care of, somehow the topic comes up of uh, what's your next show tonight? What's your show about tonight? Well, next hour, we're going to talk about dash cams. These guys told us so much information about dash cams that I'm really excited to hear more about dash cams because there were some things about it that I thought, man, you know, that would be hard. Right. You remember that part, Jay, where they started talking about it faces forward and it's watching well, you, the driver. It, that's the remember thing. That? It's interesting because, I mean, I, I really I always ride right down the middle um, mm -hmm. and uh, I wouldn't want a camera on me all day. Yeah, well, I would. I wouldn't mind. You and would. here's why. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't mind because, well, there's accountability. I mean, you think about yeah, it, this is why. your job. You know, hey, man. <laughs> you don't want accountability, Jay. It's obvious. <laughs> you just want to do what you want to do, right? <laughs> well, I mean, no, but it, 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 yeah. the beautiful part was, is, here's the deal. And, and this, is, this is where I think ATI is really good because we talk about things that maybe you're uncomfortable. Maybe no one wants to talk about. But look, at I used to own 20 trucks, right? And I didn't have dash cams. This was way before. So you always got the two to four drivers that are serious road ragers. I mean, they walk in the office, the shop, wherever, and you can just tell this guy's ready for a fight. And then you get the phone call from somebody driving down the road. Hey, your driver, what was the truck? Oh, it was Jerry. Jerry, Jerry the hothead. I know it was Jerry because you described the choice. You called Jerry. Hey, Jerry, I just got a phone call. This guy, you ran him off the road. Then you flipped him off. Then you pulled over and started yelling at the guy. And then you took off. Did you do that, Jerry? No, huh? Oh, really? Yeah, well, the, the point is, it's not I want to get on Jerry. I mean, Jerry needs help for sure. But that's not really the point. The point is, I got 20 trucks running up and down the road. And I've got an image. And that image is important to me, right? Because I'm the one paying for these trucks. And the better that image is, the better the chances of you getting a paycheck on Friday. Right? So let's work together. That's my point. Well, it, yeah, it might be uncomfortable. Nobody wants to do well, it, but come on. And here, well, I, here's the thing. I mean, yeah, when I'm on the clock and I'm working, if I'm doing sales or I'm making content, yeah. It's the, it's the moments in between where I'm singing, you know, or something dumb, <laughs> you know, that's the, but, but this is, but I mean, that's the thing is, is your boss going to watch you singing? Exactly. You know, picking your nose and singing. <laughs> Are they really going to, you know, I don't yeah, really think well, they care. Listen, I just Jerry, think that they, Jerry, they're you're really... a heck of a driver, <laughs> but you're singing. Sorry, buddy. You're out. <laughs> we got to let you go. No, the benefits are amazing. And we, that's and thanks incredible. Joe. And thanks Randy for yeah. the insights. I mean, Thank really, you. So really good much. perspective because I, I mean, I honestly it would be a challenge and especially if you're already established and you have drivers that have been with you for 10, 20, you know, 30 years and, and they've got that. You take an old guy like that and you're like, hey, I got some great news for you. We're going to put a camera. It's going to watch you all day long while you're driving the truck. Uh, that's going to be a rough conversation, but we can get through it. And there's there's good reasons to do it. And it benefits everyone. Well, once the thing captures an accident that you didn't cause. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, that, there's your conversion moment yeah. right there. You will yeah. never be the same. No, so I'm really excited to meet uh, yeah. Dean and Terry. So, and all right, it's so, next are. All right, so I got an update. All right, so I, okay. I, I had Dean and Danny listed, and I, oh. I met with Dean and Danny. Danny can't be with us tonight. Edward is going to fill in for Danny. That's fine. Yeah. So, anyways, just so, so we got Edward. Dean and Come on, Edward, Edward. Right from Nexar. So here's what Dean we're gonna and do. Edward. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit the pause on uh, Ty for a second. We're gonna roll another video, and while this video rolls, we're gonna bring in Dean and Edward. So here we go. Stick around. We'll be right back. My helper and I were headed back to a job from lunch. Half a mile from my turn, I noticed a car in the center lane getting ready to turn. The car acted like I wasn't even there. It pushed me off the road and flipped me at 51 miles an hour. You okay? Yeah. You okay? As soon as I got out of the car and got a look at my vehicle and his, I was like, well, it's all on camera. I'm William and I'm from Tampa, Florida. One of the things that I really loved about the Nexar cams is that it will start recording automatically. Start, 
and end of any drive that I do. And anytime I hit the brakes hard or there's a high G incident, it will automatically take a clip where that starts. On the scene, I was able to use the next RF to pull the clip and show the officer and the state trooper involved that I was 100% not at fault. The whole crash report itself was just super informative so that you knew how many G-force, how fast I was going. The installation of the Nexar dash cam is so easy, tucked all the way in, plugged in, and out of the way. Incredibly comforting to know that no matter what, we're going to be able to find out why it happened, when it happened, how it happened, because it captures everything inside, outside, and audio. All right, so we're back. So that, now that is a compelling video. Uh, because, if, I mean, there, right, there are so many reasons why this system can help you and benefit you. All right, so here's what we want to do now. First time ever on ATI Auto Business up on center stage, we got Dean Becker and Edward. Dean and Edward, can you see us and hear us? I can see you and hear you fine. Can you hear us? I can see, see you and hear you fine. We can see you. We can hear you both. Dean, why don't you start off? Now, by the way, Dean, where are you? I am based in Israel, and uh, it's a crisp uh, 4 a.m. in the morning. 4 a.m.? Only, only you, Jay, and Tark could get me up so early in the morning. 4 a.m.? <laughs> wow. Wow. That's nice commitment. Good hey, John, job, that's Dean. an applause button right there. Thanks, Dean. Thank well, you very to much. Be, to be honest, can you imagine some, some of our truckers and our clients, they do far worse and deal with far more difficult scenarios. So... If it, yeah. if it can help one person, we're here. Mm. So do you stay in Israel? Do you travel yes. to the state? Just stay there? So, okay. so as far as next, so is we have, we have uh, our, our head office in, in both Israel, which handles up the development side. And then we have a head office in New York, which deals with the sales side. So Eddie is based in the New York office. And uh, between the two continents, we try and produce... A great product that everyone can relate to and we can work with. Trying to decide if those license plates in the back, one of them says Missouri. Let's so see. this <laughs> is this background is the background from from our head office, and yes, there's definitely going to be one plate from Missouri. <laughs> there's uh, hundreds of them, and got uh, it. I don't know if you can you can see the '57 Chevy in the front in the back there. Yeah, um, it looks like a really so, cool space. <clears throat> nice place, it is a cool you guys. Space. It is a looks cool good. Space. And before it's, we uh, go any further, let's. Edward, can you see us and hear us? Okay. Yes, I can. I can see you and hear you perfectly. Please do say hello. Hi, how are you? Uh, my name is Edward, and like Dean said, I'm out of the New York office, um, and we head up sales there. And you know, we talk to fleet owners every day looking for, you know, a really good unit that's going to fit the mold for their fleet to help them drive safer and, and keep them on the road. Mm. That's why we're gathered here today. Dean, yeah. what you eat, didn't you contact me first? I did. I did why did you do that? You. Yeah. Why? We have a, a, a mutual connection and we were discussing what is the best way in order to communicate with the correct audience. And your name came up several times. We connected and, well, for, then I went to, to the YouTube channel and I had a look at it and I had a look at the content that you were producing. And I think to me, it was something that resonated throughout the industry was that there is this lack of information and this lack of concern and I just think that you and the, the team at ATR just hit the nail on the head. You know, there is, there is just this need to have an easygoing discussion about what is important to, to, to people on the road and in a format that anyone can listen to. So that was, that was my main reasoning, is just to shed light on a situation that we believe is, is of concern and to be available to the, to the public. Well, thank you. I'm glad you did that. Cause you, so we spent a little bit of time together. Um, I looked at your site. You've got a lot of videos, a lot of use cases. So let's go back. So in the beginning, let's, let's answer the question. What is Nexar? So 
Nexo's main focus is really to create the safer city situation where we all as drivers that participate in the road have a situation where we feel comfortable and are able to be safe in the roads and the environments that are around us. To me, that is that is my my personal feeling about the roads. We're all users and we all need to be feel safe wherever we travel. The goal is really to get home at night to our loved ones, to the people that we care for. And that is really what, what is what is essential. So from, from our side, where we started on the consumer side, we started with our dash cams. And we created these beautiful dash cams that enable people to really look at what was going on around them and to be a little bit more cognizant of what's going on around them. Because you know what, if you are, if you are cognizant about what's going around you, then you, you are a better driver. That's what we personally believe. So from that point, this was seven, seven years ago, we had, our, we had our dash cams. And then as time progressed, we were exposed to, unfortunately, many, many incidents. And this started us looking at other avenues where we could support. And this is where we started looking at how we could help in the insurance vertical and recently how we can help in the fleet vertical. Right. So when we talk, because I, what I did was, let's do this. I'll bring up your website here. Um, now we're, you know, we're flying. Off what's the, the what's the psychology behind um, having a dash cam making making you a better driver? Just curious. Well, I think, again, I think I like it. I know. I, I totally know what you're no, saying. No, no. I'm just kind of asking because it does we've, make sense. We've done. We've had. Um, several situations where we've had a look at how people drive uh, with with the dash cams and without the dash cams and what we've seen is that again if you're able if if you if you realize that there is a second eye on the road you know having a look at what is going on there's a confidence about you and there is also a confidence with regards to that if there is an incident that you're able to get that information that is required and be able to deal with an insurance situation if that arises. We, we deal with a situation where the client who is in an incident is really in a crisis. You know, they've had an accident. They're not, a, you know, many times that we've had an accident, the adrenaline is running. You're not really 100%. And to have that, that, say that understanding that there there was a video there was something that will be able to show your side of the of the story it gives you that confidence that peace of mind and we've watched videos several times where that if i actually had to explain to the insurer what happened with the 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 truck reversing up a hill and you know getting hit by a pole yeah I, I would not be able to articulate that. So you know, I think... you just made me think of like almost like a Harvard psychology experiment review. They do wild experiments at Harvard in, with psychology, and if you tr if you were to have to recall like ten facts in order of an accident versus what really happened, I think you'd be surprised at sure. what you can't recall exactly. And there's that famous saying, which is, you know, there's your side of the story, there's my side of the story, and there's the truth. And I think that's what helps with the with having that video footage is that you're able to get to that ground truth. And then there's my other famous saying, which my wife is always saying that, I mean, I would, I, I don't even remember what I had for breakfast, so let alone what happened 10 minutes ago. Um, so I think that kind of I think that kind of sums it up. Life, life is busy, so so oh, yeah. whatever we can do to help and whatever we can do to support, then let's 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 be that product. Hmm. I also want to share. I was bringing up the website. Um, let's do you know this PDF. You sent me this really great PDF. I want to look sure. at this. Um, okay, so this is the is this the trucking camera? So this is something that we're quite excited about. This is our Nexol one. This is an LTE camera, meaning that it doesn't require a connection to the cell phone. And what does that mean? Is that the, we are able to upload incidents to the cloud. 
when and what's great about Nexar is that incidents are uploaded automatically to the cloud and they're kept there for you to utilize when when you need them um, and able to pr produce them for your insurance companies and even for driver coaching which is something that Ty was talking about now is that there has to be a situation where there was an incident what corrective nature have we taken in order to fix it so this camera which is which we're very proud of, which it has the umbrella chip, it's extremely powerful, is able to do this. And also it's able to grow with us, which, and what I mean by that is that we have so much advances that we are looking at now and in the next, in the future, and we're able to update this, cam, this dash cam over the air. Also what you can see, uh, I think in the next slide, is that this dash cam is, or the previous, go back to, I think it's the previous slide, this dash cam is modular. And what that means is oh, that it's able yeah. to, you're able to remove that internal camera, which is something that you were discussing earlier, Ta and Jay, with your, with your, with your singing, is that it's, we're able to, remove that internal camera so you can have that decision as a as a fleet owner what type of information that you're you're looking at uh recording interesting wow. okay so you could just record out the windshield without the driver facing is that what you're saying correct correct oh, that's and cool. also and jay we can you can mute the sound if you want to mm -hmm. oh, okay so they okay, can't hear you singing. So okay. Sing away. Yeah, Jay, you can, you can sing, sing away. now, buddy. So the question is, is I think it's, and I'm not a tech guy, so forgive me, Dean, but it sounds, is that, does that come with what we call a SIM card in it already? Correct. Yes. Okay. It will have so a SIM card. It so has the a days, SIM card. Yeah. So the, the days of, you know, we had situations where we've, we've spoken to, to insurance companies and they had, there was an incident, and then they would have to remove the SD card, put it in an envelope, and send it to the insurance company. Those days are those days are over. That's okay. That's not going to happen. The mm -hmm. incident is now uploaded to the cloud, and it can be reviewed at 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 any stage. Hmm. Right in the so Ty, you couldn't see it, but I rolled a video right before Dean and Edward joined, and that in that video, a um, let's actually let's do this. Because that, that video, we have to... Let's take a look at this video again. And bear with me here. Um, this was the My helper and I were video. headed back to a job from lunch. Half a mile and from my turn. I will. Notice the car. <clears throat> All right. Now, uh, can you can you guys hear? In the center lane getting ready to turn. Can you hear that? No. I can't no. It. We don't no. hear the sound. No, but I've seen this one. You can roll it. Okay, I'm going to roll the it. The car acting like it. I wasn't even there. It pushed me off the road Oopsie. and flipped me at 51 miles an hour. Yeah. You okay? Whoops. Yeah. You okay? I mean, that is crazy. As soon as I got out of the car yeah. and got a look at my vehicle and his, I was like, well, it's all on camera. I'm William and I'm from Tampa, Florida. One of the things that I really loved about the Nexar cams is that it will start recording automatically. It start and end of any drive that I do. And anytime I hit the brakes hard or there's a high G incident, it will automatically take a clip where that starts. On the scene, I was able to use the Nexar app to pull the clip and show the officer. On the scene. Sure. Yeah. That's what came up Whoa. yesterday, Dean, the, when we were talking to Randy and Joe. There, you're on the scene every, like you said a second ago, your adrenaline's rush. You, this isn't part of my normal day. I'm confused. I'm what happened to me. Cops standing there. I'm getting ready to write you a ticket for whatever, thinking yeah. that you did it. And like, time out. Wait, I got just enough brains left. Here, let me show you the video. Right? All right. <laughs> I'm going to use yeah. that. Just enough brains yeah. left. Exactly. I have just enough. Oh. <laughs> when my wife says, what do you have for breakfast? I have just, just enough brains left. I've just got the kids ready for And school. I'm looking at the guy thinking, <laughs> what is his state of mind, right? Yeah, right. So Dude, it would there. be, I mean, it's beyond helpful to be oh. able to pull out your phone and just say, here, wait, watch this video. I'm going to, I'm going to pass out here. Yeah, that's right. crazy. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's the, go ahead. 
I think it's, you know, I've been I've been listening to the show and and, and something that that you said the other day, Jay, was, you know, we have we deal with clients or we deal with people that live in their vehicles. You know, this this here is is a is a trucker. I mean, is a is a is a smaller uh, the smaller of the trucks. But we deal with people that actually live. They live in cabin and they they are away from home. We were discussing they're away from home for a long time. And then it comes to a situation of if this vehicle is no longer a vehicle, but more of a home away from home, a place that is your livelihood. So it's not just a truck. It's so much more. Right. Then surely it needs to be a reason why we need to protect it. We need to protect it from uh, being in a situation where it's parked. You know, our cameras can activate when they're parked and they've been bumped in. So you can actually see what's going on. Uh, you can you can have a situation where you can live stream as well, but again, if you're if you're so concerned about your security at home, then you should also be concerned about your security at your home away from home. And I think this is something that we really want to try and get out into the market is is this is your livelihood. We don't want you to experience unnecessary down times. Let's get through whatever needs to happen and get you back on the road as quickly as possible. Hey, Jay, what, can you throw in the live chat or whoever's listening? I'm curious who in the live chat uses dash cams. So Repo Ryan's got a question, and I'm going to hold yeah. that question for a second because before we get to that, we need one more layer that we need to add. Um, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share the screen for this one so that we can all watch and listen along. This is the fleet software solutions introduced from nexar um all right here we go seeing nexar fleet a powerful fleet management solution combining nexar one our smartest dash cam and a dedicated fleet dashboard nexar fleets allows you to keep your vehicles drivers and goods safe and secure on the dashboard you can see all your fleet in one place both active mm. and parked nice Tap on a vehicle to follow its real-time location and to stream live video directly from the dash cam. Switch between road and cabin view, even when parked. You can easily watch each vehicle's full drive's history, including clips of incidents that are saved automatically and in case of need, Ooh. remotely fetch specific video clips from previous drives. Mm. In the Incident tab, you can watch all your fleet's incidents in one place. New incidents will appear as they happen, even when parked. Nexar Fleets allows you to download a full incident report and easily share it with your insurance provider. Keep your business safe and secure with Nexar Fleets. Get an offer today at getnexar.com fleets. Okay, like, do you watch that video and think, whoa, <laughs> all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I do too. I'm here, whoa. Like, whoa. Hey, so this could very well, remember, remember how nobody ever wants to talk about where they are, show their location? This could be right. a great way to share your location. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Car hauling, just, I don't know if you get, do you guys know much about car hauling? Car haulers. Ty, I've been teasing the story. I've been thinking about it all day. Without naming names or anything important, do you want to do you want to touch upon the story we heard this morning? <laughs> Please do. Yeah. Now I'm intrigued. Me, you got to be yeah. on the edge of our seats. Tread right. lightly, but please. What mm. What did the driver do? What <clears> happened? <throat> oh, okay, so this is a uh, high end car at a high end auction. That high end is in lots and lots of money, classic, <laughs> expensive, okay, very expensive car. So a, we'll just say a broker says, uh, gets a phone call. He happens to be where this car is at one of these expensive auctions. And yeah, I can move it for you from up north to way down south, say, let's say Florida, right? And by the way, this happened on uh, Monday. 
I got the car. The driver's there. The, it's an enclosed, beautiful equipment, beautiful truck, beautiful trailer, latest and greatest of the enclosed, perfect for this really expensive classic car to go from, let's say, somewhere north down to, say, Florida, right? Okay, yeah, I'll give it to you and I'll pay you this much money. This much money definitely is way more than Larry, okay? And, so and we know that you're a great car hauler. And we That's know why you're we're giving home. you the job, right? That's why right. we're you're paying great. you the money. You've proven you're great. you're great. Yeah. <clears throat> so you'll have it down there for me on Wednesday. This is this is the conversation between the broker guy who's got the high end expensive car that made a promise to the guy who just bought the car to make sure mm -hmm. it's in Florida on Wednesday. Is everybody following me here? Yeah. You got it. Okay. So this was Monday, say morning. The guy, the driver, the carrier guy with the nice truck and the nice trailer, who's done business with this guy before, says. Yeah, no problem. My mom's birthday's tonight, Monday night, but I'm going to get up early Tuesday morning. I'm going to drive all day Tuesday, and I'll be down there Friday, say around noon to two. That's fair, okay. right? I'll be there yeah. Wednesday. I'll be there. I'll, I'll be there Wednesday. I'll be there Wednesday. Yeah. I'll get, okay. Yeah, right? Instead so, of doing it Monday, I'll do it Tuesday morning and be there Wednesday. Uh, I got your back. Uh, <laughs> I've already, I loaded the car. I'm good to go. High we're five, just going to go to mom's birthday party. Ribbon cutting, yeah. Yeah. Ah, so okay. Yeah. So today's Tuesday morning. The broker guy who got the customer who's planning on the driver and the car being in Florida on Wednesday thinks, you know what? I'll just check in with my guy just to make sure everything's still going great. I know I'm missing this part of the story. So that he did talk to the guy. And that's the guy's good. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. We're the way off. Yeah. yeah. We've already changed several parts, even on accident. But but uh, but essentially. <laughs> Well, yeah. no, as, as, so I'll it. help you. I'll finish it. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you guy, knock it out. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying. Okay. <laughs> the guy was supposed to leave this morning. He said yes. he would. The car is on the truck. This is a big, big deal. He mm -hmm. is a great driver. Camera one. He is you. You're a great driver, right? right. You're great. But he got this great job and for whatever reason didn't leave this morning. We don't know if he's still sitting there or not. Nobody knows. Everybody's well, definitely home not like crazy. He can't get home. Uh, the There's no way he'll phone. be on time now. There's yeah. no way. If he leaves, okay. What if he left, Ty? What if he left at four o'clock this afternoon? Still, right? And what you want to be like flying in there, like you know, cars, the movie, and throw yeah. you know, here, Rolling here's your car, hot. just go ahead and I'll slow down and throw the ramps out. I mean, what are you doing? Yeah, carrier, you just really got a carrier, you, you suck it. from Ty just, live. Ty just threw just, out the carrier, you suck. Don't do that, guys. Yeah, you don't you, need that. I mean, oh, just wow. blew it. And you just made everybody look bad, like everybody well, looks bad. Oh, not to mention, how about the car? What What about all the helium balloons and everything and everything? <laughs> the oh, party. They were going to have a huge they, party. <laughs> waiting on the other day. <laughs> Can you imagine so, the party wow. waiting for? Yeah, so this is a great opportunity great to break out the wow, ATI man. Academy coming 2023 to a uh, city near you. Now, uh, how does that tie into camera? I don't know exactly. Well, it like ties into school? location. Because yeah, you would yes. know, because you'd be able to, I don't know if you set an alarm clock or what you do, but when that truck didn't move at a certain time that it had to, had to, had to move, you can launch, you know. Right. Nuke it. You can launch nukes. Nuke it. Well, Dude. one of the right. things uh, I've, in my fleet years of owning trucks, I've had this happen a lot of times. I can see where a camera could come in really handy. There's, you know, driving down the road debris, Right. And burns. Right. Like, I can't yeah. tell you how many windshields I've bought uh, and back glasses out of cars because of bird. You, and right. you, I've had it happen to me driving down the road, you, you know, at a car house. We got the ones where you're in the seat and there's a car on, over your head like this. And yeah. It goes behind you. So you're driving. You can see the bird coming. You don't know where it went. And you just keep driving. When you get where you're going, the windshield's completely shattered and the bird's inside the car dead wow I mean, you know so you explain that to the the guy who bought the car right whether that's a dealer a customer whoever it is you're like yeah bird say uh you didn't yeah. put a dead bird on the inspection <laughs> so I, I think i think that so, brings up that brings up eddie actually you know i'd go jump in 
Yes, of course. I did want to uh, touch base on the uh, location. Um, so to piggyback on that story that you had, so if they had an XR1 camera, you would be able to locate the vehicle exactly where it was. Um, and, you know, you would be able to live view exactly the location of that vehicle. And if the vehicle had an inside facing camera to record inside the cabin of the vehicle, you'll be able to remote stream that as well. So you would have known can, exactly what Can you what talk party... to the driver? Um, that... <laughs> Let's see here. Breaker, breaker. That's you got coming. your ears on in there, driver. <laughs> that, is, that is not a feature we currently Ooh. support. But uh, you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that upstairs. Yeah. I'll give them that recommendation for sure. That'd be the way to go. Well, we do have FaceTime. Back to the original video Jay was showing with the guy going under the bridge. So that was the car that was hanging over the hood, yeah. right? The, so the guy was on number two. And I bet you a dollar he was FaceTime. No, I bet he was FaceTime in the guy. Oh, so the they're guy not on walkie talkies. No, what am I thinking? FaceTime. Come on, this is 2023, Come on, Jake. Man. Come on, man. <laughs> You're right. They're FaceTiming. That makes so much. <laughs> but still, sense. The, that's definitely the line of 2023. If this bounces, <laughs> <laughs> that was on. I know that should be the meme. If this bounces, you're effed. <laughs> I mean, you can see those bolts ready to take the hood. Oh man! Oh man! So, Dad. so I'd like to I'd like to touch on what Tar said with regards to the bird, and it, it's very it's very important to understand this is that if you don't have that visual context you can, it, again, it is extremely difficult to explain. And why is this important is if we're looking at a driver of ours or someone that we're, we're monitoring and they happen to have a, a lot of hard brakes, you know, there is a very big difference to having lots of hard brakes because you're traveling too close to the vehicle in front of you Right. Or having hard brakes because you're missing a deer or you're avoiding an accident. And in these, these respects, there are very two different scenarios where that visual layer is essential. So that when we're talking to drivers, you need to understand is that sometimes things need to be brought up. Okay, you're driving recklessly, can bring the, the company's name uh, 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 in tribute or hurt or God forbid hurt someone. But then there's the other side of it is like, you know what, Ty, you were driving phenomenally well. You avoided that individual that was uh, in their four wheels and cut six lanes and almost knocked us <coughs> off the road. And these things you will not get unless you have that visual representation. So if you had the internal camera, if you had the external camera, you'd be able to say, listen, I don't put no dead bird in your car. <laughs> here's, here's the video. You know, well, see, a, a, you bring up an excellent point, Dean, because when you own a fleet, there's something that you cannot avoid, and it's called maintenance, right? Mm, you yep. can't avoid maintenance. So yep. the obvious things, and you know, when you talk about heavy braking, so, okay, man, truck number 185 is just going through brakes. Bobby, well, you were in here last month, and we did your brakes. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. I don't know, Ty. I don't know why we do brakes. You must put on the bad cheap brakes. No, I don't know. It might be because you're a hothead and you don't drive right. Well, we can have this debate back and forth, right, all day long. But sure. I don't know because I'm not driving with Bobby. But it turns out Bobby's got a, a road rage issue. He's got childhood trauma, and he, it doesn't matter. He just loves to follow everybody too close. So you look at it from a from that perspective. And, and of course, okay, we're going to put it under the context of you know training the drivers, educating the drivers. But really, what I'm doing is, if I own this equipment, I'm looking mm -hmm. out for my investment. Yep. Right. And, I, and this is this is team. I, I got the truck. I don't even own it. The bank owns it. So we're both paying for this truck. I need you to do your part. I'll do my part here. Just drive it like a normal person. It's not a race car. It's 80,000 pound, 80 foot thing that is wicked powerful. Don't be stupid. That's it. Or, that or, or turn around. Bobby could show you, listen, the terrain that I'm driving yeah. is forcing me to hard break all the time. You know, can we look at a different route? Can we mm. look at maybe a different traffic time to travel these things? That's true. This opens yeah. up the conversation where it's not like, oh, he's just trying to get out of trouble. You know, have, again, I, I always go back to that video. There's your side, his side, and then the truth. 
And, and I think that that visual context is, you know, is able to really knuckle down so that yeah. more time on the road, more efficiency, and, and we're able to, to be profitable because margins in every industry are tough. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, and you know, do you, you know, you hear the term when you're in semi, swing it wide, right? So I keep buying wheels and tires on the right side of that trailer, Jim. Okay. You know, why? Well, because the camera obviously shows you're not swinging wide. You're just turning like you're in a car and you're knocking over the trees, the signpost. I got a bill in the mail from the dealership because you drove over their yard, $5,000 to put a little dirt and grass on there. Mm-hmm. All you got to do, Bobby or Jimmy or whoever I'm talking to today is here's the camera. Let's don't do that anymore. And the other thing, too, uh, you, you mentioned you have cameras on the a- external cameras. Is that what I heard? We have well, inside facing and external facing. So it'll be external, facing okay. the front of the vehicle and inside the cabin of the vehicle. I got you. Is there a, a way, because somewhere, I don't know if I heard this right or not, but is there a way to, where you can see out of the mirrors behind you as well? No? Is we that, currently, we, no, we currently don't support that. Um, okay. Again, we are taking suggestions. So we're here, we're hearing this a lot in the fleet space and cool. it, it seems very important. So we're, we're looking into that. Oh, it awesome. is really a topic. Oh, I didn't know. I'm just asking. Well then, but no, this yeah. is, a, this is very exploratory, which is really good. In fact, let me ask this question. Here's repo. Ryan has a good question. Can other cameras, Bluetooth or can other Bluetooth, can, I'm going to read it again. Can other cameras, Bluetooth mm-hmm. or link into the system for multiple angles. Our tow trucks currently are monitoring four points at a minimum to monitor all angles of the tow and traffic ahead. Um, we currently do not support uh, third-party cameras to uh, connect to our next R1. That's not something that we uh, that is on our timeline right now. Uh, but it's very interesting. Or I even think it'll an be API to the fleet software. So we do, we do, we do have an API uh, that we are willing to share. Obviously, um, if the price is right, <laughs> <laughs> and um, definitely right. uh, we have many yeah. integration gets exactly complicated and expensive. Exactly, it's not that it can't be done, but I suppose let me <laughs> ask you this: with what with what Ryan is saying. Uh, into the system for multiple angles, our tow trucks currently monitoring four points at a minimum. Do you think you have a solution that at least matches the capability he's got? I think it's a situation, yeah. Again, it'd be difficult to say without actually having a, 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 a more of a discovery conversation with, with Ryan. And, and we're open to that is something that one of the things that I think you'll find out about us, Joe, even in our previous communications, we're always ready to, to help. We're always ready to listen to the end user and, and see how we can best support them. So I think if, if, if we can get his details and we can communicate, we will we'll do our best to try and find a solution. Yeah. What I would this. like. What's what your, I'm sorry. What's like, your contact information? So email is Dean dot becker that's d-e-a-n dot b-e-c-k-e-r at getnexar dot com and and i cut you off what you were going to say yes so so to his point yes more than happy to support but one of the things that i want to highlight is that when we were thinking about and the designing of the the n1 the nexar one we wanted to make sure that the camera was able to give as much of a field of view as possible. And right. it is really a camera that is able to see a little, as it, it, a wide angle as possible, both internally and externally. So we cover as as best we can with the points that that is is available. And we're comfortable with that because that's where most of the concerns happen with regards to, to incidents and accidents. Right, and there's the again. That's the next R one. That's the next yeah. R one, right? Yep. Sure. Yes, it is. And uh, I got a quick the, question. Yeah. Sorry. Go why are you Shine. Why are you yeah. showing that? So, um, if I if I'm a single truck or a fleet truck, I'm sure if I'm a fleet, there's different pricing. I'm not looking for direct pricing, but I'm I'm assuming that you either I can purchase the device outright with a monthly reoccurring charge, 
or do you finance the device and a re monthly recurring re recurring monthly chart? How does this work? Right. Good questions. That's, so we do oh, that's a that's a great image, uh, Jay. Just if you go up a little bit higher, there you go. So yeah, showing the 140 amazing. and the 160, uh, the vision uh, slightly down, slightly down. They're showing oh, you the inside wow. and outside uh, capabilities of of the cameras. That's that's the exact image I was actually hoping you would find. Okay, cool. That's the, your wide shot. Yeah. Yeah. But it stays like that the whole the when it's on. Right? That's the wide shot right there. Okay. Yes. Or when it, it. Or when it wakes, or, or if it's act, if if you parked and the vehicle is bumped, then it will also activate and show that view. Yeah. So talk about that for a minute, a minute about how does that work? Like that bicycle thing be created mm -hmm. a clip. How does, does it have motion sensors? What's going on? So it works in two ways. You've got motion. You've, the, the actual dash cam has a, I, a IMU. So it's got your G force detectors. It's got a lot of sensors that enable it to, to wake up when it is moved or bumped in a specific way. I am you. I am you. What's I am you? It's an inertia modular unit. Inertia modular unit. Yeah. So it detects motion. Yes. Wow. Okay. I guess That's that'd great. be like how your cell phone knows you're driving. Or when you, exactly. I, so I've heard. I've just I've <laughs> so, heard about this. <laughs> speculating lie. <laughs> speculating. Allegedly. <laughs> That's great. Okay, sorry, so, I didn't so mean to Ta, interrupt you, but yeah. no, not a, not a problem. Uh, Ta, I want to go back to your question, which was basically yes. So we we, we have a mod with regards to the pricing and so for that current. What you do is you're able to purchase the mod uh, the the dash cam up front, and yep. then what we found in the industry is that people don't really want to get roped into thirty six month contracts. So mm -hmm. we give options of a year, two years, uh, or three years. And, month to and, month. And, and month to month. So you okay. have that option of, you know, doing what suits you and what suits your, uh, what suits your, part, uh, your, your pocket. Mm. Well, that's yeah, a the nice way, feature. Yeah, the way, that, the way we're able to keep uh, our, our costs so low, our monthly costs so low for our fleet owners is by charging the hardware up front. A lot of camera companies uh, currently, what they do is they finance you or lease you the camera across 36 months. When you end up doing the math, you end up spending $15,000 over your initial spend, right? Obviously, it's not hitting you right away because it's on a monthly basis. But what we do is we just charge you the hardware up front and then you pick the plan you want that best suits your business needs. Wow. So the hardware That's is yours. Yeah. You get to keep the hardware. Um, if there's any, if there's a day you decide, you know what, I don't need fleet services. Um, you can utilize those cameras on the app itself. So the cameras aren't brick. You can still utilize them in the real world without our fleet management software. Mm. Right. This can is you still own. access the video though? Yeah. So your camera, once we release the camera from your, uh, da your fleet dashboard, You'll be able mm -hmm. to pair that camera to any iPhone or Android device you want, and mm -hmm. uh, it'll still work. Yeah. Wow. So if I want, if I want to, I can just buy your your unit, your device next yeah. next R one. That's the yeah. that's the newest and the latest, right? And that's our, yeah. Mm -hmm. So is it okay to ask how much that costs, or is that not okay? No, it's okay to ask. Different um, prices. Right, there's different prices, we're obviously. Totally uh, yeah, yeah. We're we're totally transparent. Um, if you wanted, let's say an inside facing camera, the whole setup, 128 gigs today, you're looking at 409.95. 409.95. That's yes. the loaded up version. That's like fully loaded. Does that come with the gigs. mount also where I can mount it on the windshield? Yep. It comes with everything. Wow. Okay. That's not yeah. bad. It's not bad. 409.95. And obviously the more vehicles you have in your fleet, the more we can yeah. work on a hardware cost and bringing that down for you. Yeah, yeah. And, and so I'm clear, so 409 gets you in the hardware. Is there a monthly subscription? Yes. yes. So like so like Dean said before, uh, your monthly, so we have a minimum of three, uh, three trucks or three vehicles 
to in order to create the fleet. Um, so upon that, you would just decide if you want a month to month, which would be nineteen ninety nine per month. Right. You'll have a one year, which is seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents per month, and then you have a month to month. If you're not a contract guy, you know, you do nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents per month. But if you're an owner operator, you don't need the fleet solution. Four oh nine connects to your phone. Exactly. You clips in the cloud. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So if, cool. yeah, if it's right, if there's the no contract. Operator, that's yeah. what he was saying. So you don't, you're not locked into something that you may or may not want. Which I think that's smart, guys. Good job. Right. As a consumer, as an owner operator, I did want to piggyback on this. There is a different pricing for a consumer model for the Nexar One. Right. So for the consumer model, it will be nine dollars and ninety nine cents per month. That'll be their monthly fee for just one vehicle. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There is, <clears throat> so there is a subscription. So for whether LTE, you're, for LTE coverage, the LTE, for the LTE okay. coverage, and yeah. you can explain that. You know, when so if you want to, let's say you're interested and you want to learn more, learn more right now. Dean's email is in the uh, live chat. But is there more? Is there an eight hundred number? Is there a, a, a main sales email yeah. or? Yeah, I uh, I went ahead and added uh, Danny's email and my email. Uh, so if anybody needs uh, to contact us for any any fleet needs, they can shoot us a so, shoot us a message and we'll reply right away. YouTube filters that out. So let me put the email address. Ah, okay. Is it, is it Danny at GetNexar? Is that the one? Yes, Danny okay. at GetNexar.com. So, yep. so here's Danny's. And then yours is, is it Edward dot, is it Crows? How do you say your last yeah. name? Yeah, Crows, at yep. At GetNexar.com? Yep. Okay, see, I have the power. <laughs> YouTube doesn't filter me. Wow. So Nice. I, w I would like to just add on that is that with the with the dash cans is we come from a consumer background and we have really thought about the installation process and you will find that this is a very easy DIY process when it comes to the installation um, the connection is uh, uh, mounted on the on the windshield. It's by and it's it's on a magnet, so the the unit can be taken off and put on. And then you have several options: your cigarette lighter, OBD dongle, uh, into or or hardwire. Hardwire so these kit. Options, these options are available to you. But I think what I wanted to stress with that is that it's not real. It's not. A difficult process to to install, and we've done that on purpose because that's the background that we've we've come from. Hmm. Smart. This is a perfect time. Here's what we're gonna do. Camera one. We're gonna add Lloyd because Lloyd is looking for a simple solution. Now that we're gonna talk about how much damage got done to his truck. <laughs> um, and by the way, Kelly Love. So uh, Lloyd, you're you're being invited now. So get ready. Lloyd is going to be joining us. Uh, John says, yo, great show. And Kelly Love says, does the tracking on the fleet work in Canada and Mexico? Canada so and Mexico. Yeah. So currently right now, we're supported in the U.S. Um, just for LTE purposes. Um, we're still, uh, we're currently working on trying to get into uh, Canada and Mexico. I'm going to say this. I'm going to guess, while some of your answers are, well, we're still in process, but on the upside, you're not paying. The cu customer doesn't have to take on the expense of all these other widgets and features. I'm imagining you're pretty competitive on price. Am I right? 100%. That? Yeah, 100%, I would think yes. so. Yes. Um, which is, I mean, we are a price. Especially on the crowd. subscription this is ACI. Side. I got a question. The um, so when the ELD came out, the, the, that little video where you guys were showing the trucks, you know, the little dots following them all around. When the ELD came out, I think there was they had something like that. Do you guys remember any of this? Have you heard of this? Well, I know I know what the ELD is, but uh, elaborate a little bit more. <clears throat> well, I'm I got out just before ELD came in, so I kind of got lucky. But the, my understanding. Somebody in the live chat, Lloyd could probably help us actually, but the ELD, everybody was, you know, gunning for this because they knew it was coming. The government was making everybody do it. So it was technology, but the technology had a dash dashboard that back at the office, I knew who was driving, 
where they were at, how fast they were going, all these things, but I didn't have the, the video of them actually driving. Does that make any sense? Yes. So yes. I'm just curious if there's a way to in it, not that I won't, would want to or I'm suggesting, I'm not saying that at all, but it does look like they're both kind of doing the same thing, which is we're tracking the vehicle. It also had, if you're going around the curve too fast, the IMU that you mentioned earlier, it, I think they had something like that. Lloyd, hi, Lloyd. Lloyd can answer it. Lloyd, first. what's going on? Hi, Lloyd. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Looking good, buddy. Yeah, hello, everybody. What was your question, Ty? On your ELD, it's a, that, it can tell you back at the office if you're going too fast or you're taking a corner or stopping, right? It, right and it tells you where you're at. Hard acceleration, um, hard braking. Yes, it'll do all that. And I have your, well, my ELD provider, I get the uh, camera where it'll forward face the camera in cab facing, watching the driver. Oh, so it's already integrated. Wait, yeah. so you have a camera? Yes. But you didn't have an exterior camera when you got hit when you were sitting parking, right? He was, well, that kind of brings up the subject, you know, of the 360 degrees because he mm -hmm. was on my right hand side on the passenger side going the opposite direction of me. So, I don't have the 360 degrees off of the side. Mm. Uh, if, if, if you remember, just last year, I think it was 2021, you know, there were yeah. several lawsuits in Louisiana and Texas where people were sideswiping semi trucks and then accusing the semis of doing it. And the states prosecuted the, the, the gangs, the groups that were doing those kind of things, you know, trying to get false insurance claims. So the 360 degrees, guys, it, it's def like the um, tow truck driver is def definitely needed. I'm, I'm looking for the 360 degrees because my ELD provider will not provide the 360 or you know, on two front corners looking back. Um, <laughs> I'm, right now I'm looking into mirror eye because mirror mm -hmm. eye will look down the truck and your trailer and spacing and all that kind of thing. Then the mirror will turn, that kind of stuff, but definitely needed the, the 360 okay. degrees. Because if I'd have had it on my passenger side the night of my incident, then it would have showed the incident as it took place. You know, it's interesting. I went, Repo Ryan is in the live chat. So this is really getting to be an interesting show. We're actually <laughs> I'm, I always learn more than I bargain for live. Um, okay, Repo Ryan says, does the vehicle have to be on to monitor or does it still record while the vehicle is off? Perhaps a scenario where someone is vandalizing your vehicle, you can catch an image to give to the police, which I actually Ty, that kind of reminds me of that. Uh, we heard another story, right? Where the, yeah, mm -hmm. the truck was vandalized and stolen, mm -hmm. but I, they had images. Oh, the, right? in, the facing, the uh, in cab facing camera caught the guy. So it, now I don't know about Nexar. So I'm not talking, and I don't know the name of the company, this other guy that was telling the story mm -hmm. that Jay's talking about, but when the guy tried to start the car, he's sitting there in the truck or start the truck that he's about to steal the $325,000 Peterbilt Cottrell Stinger fully loaded of, you know, $45,000 brand new cars. That guy, he's yes. getting <laughs> right. That's what, hey, hey, Red Hot Chili Peppers, listen, can you not do that? Uh, please, you know, <laughs> the guy looked like we got to see the guy's picture. He looked like what was Freddy Krueger. He really did. It was crazy. But at, wow. anyway, that led to getting the deal. So back to, I don't remember whatever the question was. So I want, I want to go back a little bit to Lloyd and I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Danny handle the, the technical question, but I want to just go back to quickly the, the situation where we have individuals that are side swapping uh, trucks and are, you know, you have these cash for crash scenarios. Um, and I don't see, and, and this is this is creating the situation where we're referred to as nuclear verdicts, where you have individuals that are purposely doing this for, for a payout. So I'm not referring to anyone that's been in an accident. It's more of that situation. I don't, to me, I don't see that this is going to go away. I don't see the, the nuclear verdicts uh, just disappearing, but I do see that if you don't have video or if you don't have something in place in order to support you and protect you, it, it, it's, it's far more scarier. You know, you have to, you have to protect not only uh, your, yourself, but your vehicle 
but it's a situation that if that vehicle of yours is damaged and you're off the road and you're on downtime, you know, it's a financial implication. And if, it, if, if, if things aren't sorted as quickly as possible, specifically with claims, they generally tend to fester and then you have uh, attorneys getting involved and it becomes a, a very scary situation. So I think right. just on that point, I just want to highlight to everyone, you know, it doesn't have to be an ex, it doesn't have to be anyone, but if, if you're on that, if you're on the road, it, it's so important to have yourself protected with, with, with a camera dash cam and so forth. Um, and it is, it's something that is of great concern. And I just want everyone, you know, please just be safe out there when it comes to these types of individuals. Well, I just thought uh, one more thing back to what Jay was saying earlier, as far as the University of Virginia, you know, doing a study on witness account, people you know, re recalling what took place. Uh, my background was nine years with the state police and investigating fatality crashes. And mm -hmm. absolutely 100% correct. Uh, witnesses, usually only about 10% of whatever they write down, whatever they say is part of what the actual event was that took place. So you can take five witnesses and only count 10% of that is actually being fact. It doesn't mm -hmm. do you a whole lot of good when you just have witnesses writing down what they think they saw or what they can remember they saw. Um, so video, like the old saying goes, CYA. If you got a video, you got a camera, that's going to speak louder than any words written down on paper or coming out of somebody's mouth. Exactly. And I'll, I'll tell you something interesting about that, Lloyd, is that even when I watch a video of an incident, and even Jay did it, to the, did it earlier today, you know, you watch that incident several times because you're trying to kind of understand what when what happened. Mm -hmm. So you slow it down, you partition it, you kind of try and see what's going on. Incidents happen so quickly, very, mm. very quickly. And, and, and you miss so much of the details. So... If, if I'm watching a video and I don't grasp all of it the first time I'm watching it, can you imagine if I'm just watching it without having the ability to re-watch it and recall it? So mm. it's, again, uh, witnesses are 100% uh, essential, uh, not, not taking any way away from that. But if you have that evidence, you have that ground source of truth, you know, it's... It's priceless. <laughs> it's, it's, it's worth a million dollars sometimes, you know? Mm. That's good. So, hey, real quick. So you, what, what year did you start Nexar? Did you tell me? Yes. So, Nexar started in 2007. At seven years. We've been running 2007. Since 2007? That's what I thought. 2017? So, no, 17. 17. Oh, 17. Okay. So, relatively mm -hmm. new. So, back to Ed, Edward. Edward, what or Dean, I guess either one of you guys, what kind of traction are you getting in, in the market? What can we do to help you guys? That's what I'm asking. Um, <clears throat> I think I think from our side it's it's an education thing, which is, is really the, the most essential thing, is getting that information out there and helping people understand that this is a this is something that is here to to protect you and aid you and again get you home safe at night uh yeah. sorry ta since two uh, since 2015 again 15, so okay. I, I can't remember what i had for breakfast even yeah, though four, it's only it's only five something in the morning or whatever it's only it's only <laughs> 10 to five yeah, so sorry it's been running well, since I, 2015. I, I, and um, the one thing that I really like about this next star here, you know, you're talking about the monthly fee. Uh, what was it, mm -hmm. nine something a month? Yes, exactly. So uh, for a personal vehicle, it'll be $9.99 per month. And that's just what? for the connected services. Um, there is an LTE involved. Um, well, I challenge anybody who's listening and seeing this, you know, to do your homework, and I'll guarantee you, that's not a bad price at all. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, the best part is no contract. That's the best part. So the owner operator is right. you know, the twenty dollars a month, you know, two hundred and forty dollars a year. Hey, if you have something go wrong, you're gonna be damn glad you got it. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, how well, many? Go ahead, Jay. Well, I, are you are you sure? Well, I was wondering. I was just curious, like, because you, uh, I, I'm on YouTube a lot, and I see these videos a lot. 
And then you got the guy who's really the super overachiever. He's got a dash cam on the front window and on the rear window. So yeah. he edits his quick. <laughs> so does that happen a lot? Do you guys see that? Yeah, that happens all the time. Um, actually, we have we have several. Uh, I know several drivers that actually drive with one of our legacy cameras in their their rear their back window, and they drive with the Nexar One up front. Um, mm-hmm. And they they're running separately, obviously, and and and, and they're not communicating to each other. Um, but it's oh. doable. You can make your own solutions. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> right. So the guy who's the guy who Ty's sitting here. So can you put him on the outside? Can you put him in the trailer? Can you? Yeah, well, you can put it wherever you want. <laughs> right? um, yeah. So the cameras do need to stay charged. Just buy as All many right. as you need. So, here you go. You can do the cameras what you do want. need to stay charged. <laughs> Transport. Um, I wish. I really wish they were waterproof. Uh, if they yeah. were waterproof, then they would be game changer. But they oh, are man. not waterproof, <laughs> um, so we can't mount them on the outside. But there, there are instances where people are mounting several cameras inside their vehicle. Yeah, that's great. All right, I was going to say insurance. Yeah. Do you yeah. tell your what, do you tell your insurance company? What do you tell them? I mean, for in oh. yeah, uh, Lloyd. I uh, here here again. Very 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 valid point. Um, my insurance company, uh, I mentioned how much my insurance is, but uh, they asked, could they monitor my ELD and see my cameras anytime they want to? And I said, well, absolutely. Why? Because it gives me a 15% discount to give my per- insurance company permission to log wow. into my ELD yeah. at any time and see how fast my trucks are going, look at the cameras, see what the drivers are doing. So, yes, wow. here again, guys, that $20 a month, you check mm. with the insurance company, I guarantee you it's going to save you some damn, it'll, it'll pay for itself. 15% yeah. is a lot. Wow. That is a lot. That's, so that's, a lot. Yeah, that's over seven grand for me as far as the savings wow. and insurance. Oh, that's man. Amazing. How many of those things could you buy? Next yard and the next yard. You, you can buy hey, a bunch of those. Hey, Gecko, I know how you can <laughs> save 10 to 15% on insurance <laughs> with a camera. Absolutely. Ooh. That's great. So I, think, I think it's, but it's a, <laughs> It's not all doom and gloom. You know, a lot of the times we see people actually also recording videos or saving clips of just beautiful moments of beautiful, you know, the, yeah. the, there's some beautiful roads out there and memories on the road. And, and I think that's something that we're also seeing a, a great, a great traction in, uh, is having a look at the, the world around us. And it's so, so as much as we're, we're there to protect, we, I think it's also a great way to, to educate people on, on, the, on the routes that they're taking and maybe even like advise, you know, like this is careful, there's, there's, there's this type of, of situation coming up on the road. So just back to your point, Ty, on, on, how, on, on how to assist. Again, it's education. Let's get the name out there and also just mm-hmm. letting people know that we're approachable and we're ready to help and, and assist as much as we can. Yeah, right. That's so that if you're driving, you go Nexar. This is awesome, and it records, and it'll save it later as a montage, and you can watch it because maybe you're in something scenic or something. You know, I just want to say, have you seen like YouTube is throwing up? You know, enjoy this moment as Zen as you watch like a satellite image over. You know, so you're right. There's a lot of incredible oh. visuals. I just want to add on that you're right. There's some really neat video stuff. Yeah, um, that that's an interesting perspective too. It really Dean. is. <laughs> like, what, what, one, one, one of my favorite. One of my favorites <laughs> actually is is there's there's a couple of Nexar videos that actually drive through neighborhoods and specific areas over the festive season, and you get to see all these beautiful Christmas lights. Uh, it's really something. It's it's something special. <clears throat> It's a real vlog with a V as in vehicle Ooh, vlog. There you go. It's my vlog. Time. Be a vlogger with Nexar. Be a vlogger with Nexar One, kids. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so have we missed anything? Um, again, I guess it's been, a wild, it's been a wild ride. Yeah, it's been a wild uh, ride. The past hour, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we covered everything. I'm Visual hoping we covered data, a good chunk of it. Mapping. You're hoping to what? Transportation. What? I'm He's hoping, hoping. we covered uh, the majority of it, but again, we're available, and you know, we, we'd love, we'd love to, you know, 
just make ourselves, you, you've got our contact details. Anyone that has any questions or anything else, uh, mm -hmm. we're here. So we got a question out of the live chat. Silverman, all right, what are the cons of having a dash cam? What if your insurer doesn't like what they see? If they don't like, you know, my singing? My insurer is Simon Cowell. Excellent more than question. Your... Yeah, what are the cons? It is a good question. It's an excellent question, and I think it it goes back to it goes back to what are the cons? The cons are what happens if something does go wrong, and I don't have that dash cam. You've got to weigh up the the both of them. You know, yes, won't like your singing or won't like the way that something occurred, but I assure you, <laughs> but more, if I'm more often than not, if I'm a road rager and I drive crazy, maybe I don't want to do the ten to fifteen. With the insurance. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Right. If you're a road rager, you're not you're not right. accepting that discount. You're right. not even letting them. If I'm Axel Rose, the truck driver, I might want to skip the interior dash cam. And I say 100%. that. that I'm, okay, that sounds like a nutty thing to say. It is. There's nothing wrong with that. But I worked with a guy that he thought he was Axel Rose. He did. He was living the lifestyle before the job. And okay. if that's you, you don't want that interior camera. Am I right? <clears throat> Fake it no, till you make it. Yeah, skip the interior. You well, no, I think what I think what Fast Eddie's saying is he's like, I don't know if you want that from a driving perspective. If it's my fault, I, what are, what am I going to do when yeah. it's my fault? That's I think that's the angle he's coming from. Am I right, oh. Fast Eddie? I would think even if it's your fault, you should probably still go ahead and have it. That's just my opinion. I think the pros. I think the pros outweigh the cons. I think that the chances mm -hmm. are that when you need it, you really need it, yeah. and also maybe it could be a situation that if you have a an individual that is a hothead driver or is a is a dangerous driver, that it's a situation where it's coachable. It's it's coachable where you yeah. can have these discussions because again, yeah. we all want safe roads out there. We all want to get home to our loved ones at night. So. To me, it's for the great. It, again, it's it's let's let's coach and, and get you to become a, a safer driver, a better driver, so that you can get home to your loved ones at night. Right, <clears throat> that's good. Well, well, I definitely enjoyed getting to know you guys, Dean. When are you coming back to the states, Dean? I am based here in Israel, but uh, wow. I hopefully will be visiting soon. Um, I. Eddie, Eddie is, is, is based Eddie. in New York, and then our, our, our colleague Eddie. Danny in is New also York. based there, yeah. who is also a wealth of information um, and, and is really a great, a great individual to talk to with right. regards to finding yeah. out your, uh, your needs. But we're going to go. Uh, Silver Mint hits it again, but it can be used against you, right? I like this. I like this clarification. Could it be used against you? The answer is yes. Correct. Yes. If, if yes, of course. Yeah. If you're <laughs> if you're if you're at fault, of course the insurance company. No insurance company wants to pay out. Mm -hmm. So if you're at fault, you're at fault. Um, at the end of the day, also you have to look at it uh, from two perspectives. If your insurance company is offering you a discount and you've agreed to share that video then you have to know in your mind, I have to be the best driver because they're mm -hmm. monitoring me. They want to take away that 15%. They want to make more money on me. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you, if you know you're like eating while you're driving or you're heartbreaking or sharp cornering constantly, that's not something that you're going to want to agree to. And let's remember, right? Your this dash is camera, isn't it? <laughs> right? I love your it. dash. Your dash camera is something you purchase. If you're an owner operator, yeah. you're purchasing this out of your own pocket. So yeah. you are the one that owns the video. You are the one that can choose if you share this video or not. If you're not getting an insurance discount, of course. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like I'm just going to leave that there. Oh, Lloyd, yeah. what are you going to say, Lloyd? <laughs> well, you know what's the you know, the old saying, what's the true definition of a man? Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the man's character. And it's, it's what he does when nobody's looking. The true definition right. of a man's character is what he does when no one's looking. And yes, mm -hmm. the, the cameras, uh, the ELDs, everything. It's, well, I might me back up. A citation. Why does law enforcement write a citation? Mm -hmm. It's to change behavior. Right. Okay? 
when, when the speeders were speeding and wrecked was driving and kind of thing, is to change the behavior of the individual. The camera, yes, okay, as far as a driver, I can see more drivers rejecting to this kind of thing. They don't want people to know what's going on. But it, it changes your behavior. And it's, you know, it can't be any harder said fact that it's all about safety. It's preventing mm-hmm. the crash, it's protecting yourself, but right. it's all about safety being safe because, yes, these nuclear settlements, they're not going away, not at okay. all. And so when there's a crash, you know, you don't want it to be, you don't want to be at fault. So, yes, you know, increase your following distance, slow down. Um, you know, my driver. And get home. And get home. Well, my, 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 my driver, I've showed him because he's getting used to the ELD system and stuff that I currently okay. have. And I can show him, look, here's how much you're speeding. Here's how much you're using the cruise control. And the truck monitors is following distance, that kind of thing there, you know. So if you don't like being watched over, taking a, being critiqued, well, then it's not the job for you. But at the same time, he gets paid well. But, but here's part of the job. You've got to be safety. It's all about safety. But you can get a camera. You can get the camera system without the camera on you, right? Yes. yes. That, that would yeah. be the Mr. Brownstone yeah, our camera you know, is modular. You don't, yeah. you don't have the camera on you. Yeah, our camera is modular. Jay, you're worried about so the camera on you, Jay. No, we, I, no it's listen, not a problem, Jay. Listen, they I, can even pull the lens out for you, the, Jay. Silver <laughs> Mint Come on, is man. asking. Silver Mint's asking the question. <laughs> I mean, because that they, they, they listen. We all know is... Silver Mint's an outlaw. <laughs> He's playing with you, man. Come on. <laughs> exactly, he is. He's got Silver me all Mint. twisted we love Silver up. Silver Mint. Now you mess with you. Come on, Come man. Come on, man. One of my, one of my so, big things is the thing I push following too close. The following too close. You know, you you can't you can't stop that quick. You know, you and yeah. Jay, Jay, you talked about all the injuries, you know, and per day and the fatalities per day yeah. and per hour. Yes, it happens a bunch, but following too close is a big, big problem in the industry. And so well, you would you yeah. watch that. If you, well, and I'll tell you, I really liked the idea of the two cameras, one out the front, one out the back, because as we know, four-wheelers, nothing makes four-wheelers crazier than trucks. Mm-hmm. And they mm-hmm. act completely irrational around mm-hmm. trucks. That's Maybe. why they had to pass a federal law to put the undercarriages in semis because people couldn't wait to smash in under the wheels and go crazy. I mean, yes. people lose their minds around trucks. You see it all mm. the time. It's true. That's why they do the brake checks. And that's really mean. Anybody that's ever does a brake check, please don't do that again. It's not necessary. That's horrific. <clears throat> terrific. <clears throat> terrific. I, 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 I think that sometimes people actually do not realize the size and weight that it takes to stop a truck, especially when it's fully loaded. Yep. It's not. They don't. They think it's, it's just like part. a car. They have not thought any of this through. <laughs> they're, they're not, that's exactly it. You're not, you're not thinking it. It's like, oh, let, let me just tap the brakes and see what happens. It's it's not worth it. It's really mm-hmm. not worth it. You know, no. we, 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 we share this road, all of us. Exactly. Here's what I Let's... told Mike kids before they started driving i said there's only two things you need to really know everybody's drunk and stay away from semis everybody on the road's drunk and that's if you not come up bad as advice a, get away <laughs> and i like it too because it's pessimistic that's right in my uh, right there you go Jay. everybody's drunk and they're all gonna run over you. <laughs> stay away from semis yeah, it's kind of like I don't know if you've ever seen that picture of the of the dad who lent his vehicle to his son and he's put the 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 duct tape over the like the, the hard part of the acceleration and the hard part of the of the speed and oh. and he's written on the duct tape, "Don't go past here." You know, I so, haven't seen that. That's smart. <laughs> that's a great photo. That so, is smart. So oh, don't man. go over the five right. thousand like, revs and don't go put it like forty five. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. You're in red zone. Mm. Well, next are uh, I'm really glad you guys got a hold of Jay. I'm really glad I got to meet you yeah. guys. Thank uh, you. Glad we got to meet you guys. Yeah, well, amazing. definitely. Anybody that calls 417-483-2764 and ask about a camera, next are next are one. Let us know. Yes, we got you, know. Edward. We got it. We got you guys covered. We yes, wish you, you and all of your listeners a very prosperous and a great New Year's for 2023 and a safe year. 
And uh, again, thanks for having us on the show. Uh, yes. And, and lovely to meet you, Ty, Lloyd, and of course, Jay. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Pleasure to talk to you guys. Thanks, Thank you very Lloyd. much. Good to see Thank you, again, you. Buddy. Take care, guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks again, Lloyd. Yes. Thanks, everybody. All cheers. right, we'll end it here. All right, cheers. Thanks so much. And thank you again, Dean, for staying up so late. We really, really appreciate that. That's cool. Okay. All right, gentlemen, here is the meeting. And cut. And that's a cut. Okay. Um, I really want to thank everybody that was uh, in the live chat. Thank you for the questions and the input and participation um thank you so much dean and edward i'm sorry danny couldn't be here but we appreciate nexar for contacting us and taking the time and setting this up uh if you have a show idea feel free to send me an email autotransportintel at gmail.com is the email and you can send in the news uh send me your memes and whatever it is and we'll try to work it in a show or, or see if we can find uh a way to put a spotlight on what you think is important for the community. ATI Auto Business is a community. And again, I want to thank Rapid Recon, Ship Your Car Now, McAllister's Transportation Group, Superflow Systems, and Murphy Auto Transport Services. Please do join us tomorrow on Live Carrier Advice. we got a full boat this week. Thermo, uh, Thursdays is Thermonuclear Thursdays on Dispatching Live. Friday is Cars on the Move with Renee Lowe and Darcy Case. And we're featuring Harding Brooks Insurance Agency. Harding Brooks Insurance Agency. And we'll be back again Tuesday night, of course. So thank you so much for tuning in for ATI Auto Business. And stick around for our two-hour automotive late night plus. Here comes the car hauler. Stay safe. Thank you. Let us know how we can help. And if you have a camera question, go ahead and put it in the live chat or the comments below. GetNexar.com. Those were our guests tonight. Thank you. We'll see you soon.